first element of the array can be considered as a pivot element or the last element of the array can be considered as a pivot element now you can see your elements of the array is sorted 10 30 40 50 including the pivot element 50 80 and 90. Yeah, whether the pivot element is a first element a yeah, of i what is my i value that is zero value is equal to the pivot element what we are taking yes it is equal and i is less than the last element Welcome to the one more session on data structure using C for second semester BCA student. In this session, we are going to discuss a second unit that is operation on RA. In that particularly, we are discussing a session four that is a quick sort. Myself, Induja, Faculty of Computer Science Departments, Vidya Sunfa State College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Let us start today's session. What is quick sort? We have seen different uh, sorting algorithm, insertion sort, bubble sort, selection sort and one more algorithm what we have is a quick sort. Okay, what exactly the name itself says, it sorts the element according to the ascending order or the descending order very quickly. That's why it is named as quick sort. What exactly we are doing in the quick sort, we are using applying the concept called divide and conquer. What does divide and conquer means? Means if you have a large problem, divide the problem into smaller sub problems and get the solution for the smaller sub problems and merge those solution to have a required solution for the given problem. So that is called as divide and conquer. Dividing the complex problem into the simpler problem and smaller problem easy to find the solution. That's what we are applying in the quick sort. This quick sort algorithm uses the idea of divide and conquer approach. Here what exactly we are doing means we are dividing the complete array into two halves uh, depending on the one particular element called as a pivot element. Your pivot element can be a first element or it can be the last element. It depends on the programmer how he is very comfortable in taking whether he want to the first uh, element as a pivot element or the last element as a pivot element. The quick sort method first finds the element called the pivot element, right? We are finding the pivot. What the pivot element may be? First element of the array can be considered as a pivot element or the last element of the array can be considered as a pivot element which divides the array into two halves in such a way that the elements in the left half, left half of the pivot should be smaller and the element that comes in the right half of the pivot element should be the greater. So that can be repeated until unless we are getting the sorted array. So we are going to repeat, perform these steps again and again. We are dividing the left part of the sorted array and right part of the sorted array, taking one more pivot element for the left part of the array and taking one pivot element for the right part of the array. So this is a recursive function. What we are applying here, we are applying the two concepts. One is divide and concept and one is a recursion. Doing the same approach for the left half of the array and the right half of the array. Bring the pivot element to its appropriate position such that the left of the pivot element is a smaller and the right of the pivot element is a greater number. Then apply the quick sort on the left part of the array and apply the quick sort on the right part of the array. We have to keep on repeating until unless we will get the sorted array. So let us see what are the advantage of using the quick sort? One is, as I told you, it is very fast. Whatever the computation is done is very quick. That's what it is called as quick sort. It's very quick. We can get the sorted array in fraction of time. Okay, hence it is a running time is very fast. The time consumption required to execute the quick sort algorithm or the quick sort program is very less. And the quick sort does not re need extra memory. We need not to have a extra memory to sort the arrays in between. So this is what the advantage of quick sort and this coming to the disadvantage, it's very difficult to implement the quick sort algorithm because each time we have to find the element if the size of the element is very large at that time we are implementing the quick sort so it is implementation of the quick sort is quite difficult compared to the other sorting algorithm so let us see the 
procedure how quick sort exactly works with an example here i have an array how many elements are there? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 elements array is there. What we are taking? We are taking the last element as pivot element. We are taking last element as pivot element. Compare the value of the array with the pivot element and whichever is a smaller, 10 is a lesser than the 70. So put it on the left part of the array then compare 80 80 is a 80 is greater than 70 so put it in the right part of the array 30 is a smaller than 70 put it in the left part of the array similarly 90 is greater than 70 put it in the right part of the array so comparing this pivot element with the all the element of the array which is lesser we are putting at the left part of the array and dividing the array into two parts left and right and whichever is a greater than the pivot element we are putting it the right part of the array again for this particular array we have divided this uh, se seven elements into four elements right now again I have to apply the quick sort technique here for the left half of the array so what I am doing I am considering the last element as a pivot element again so this pivot element is compared with the first element since it is lesser put it in the left part of the array 30 is lesser put it in the left part of the array 40 is lesser put it in the left part of the array there is no element which is greater than the 50 so we are not putting anything in the right part of the array okay so again divide this we have four elements now we have a three elements compare this with the remaining elements so we have got the sorted array so when we are moving back, actually we should go with the backtracing 10, 30, 40, 50 and with the pivot element 70. Okay, one part of the array is sorted. Coming to the right part of the array, what we are doing? Again, we are finding the pivot element here. We are keeping the left as in a pivot element. Pivot element, compare this. So there is no element which is less than 80 so nothing will be put it in the left part of the array 90 is greater than the 80 so we are putting it in the right part of the array and after this it will go to this root 80 and then it will go to 90 now you can see your elements of the array is sorted 10 30 40 50 including the pivot element 50 80 and 90 so this is how the quick sort is going to work so let us see the algorithm how we can design the algorithm for the quick sort what is the first step start is the first step of any algorithm as we know then choose uh, any element of the array to be pivot element either it can be the first element or it can be the last element of the array consider any one of it as in a pivot element then divide all other elements except the pivot element into the portions partitions dividing to the left array as well as a right array the, all the element lesser than the pivot must be at the first partition and all the elements greater than a pivot must be at the right partition so this is a step three we have to use this step three recursively that's what we are using in the step four use a recursion to sort both the portion we have to repeat the same step three again and again until unless we find the sorted array then join the first sorted portion which is my left side first sorted portion and the pivot element which is we considered the first element as a pivot element 70 and the second sorted portion that what we are doing in the step five so once we are joining all the elements of the array we are going to get the sorted array and then we are stopping our algorithm. Let us see the see, uh, code for implementing this quick sort algorithm. As we know, whenever we are using the C programming code, we are using some header files. So uh, definitely we should include some header files like uh, stdio and conio.h. Then what we have, we have one function. Which function is this quick sort function? We are 
calling or we are defining the function called quick sort in that how many parameters we are passing and what all the parameters we are passing is definitely we should have an array to sort the element of the array so we are passing the array we are finding the first element which is my first element and which is my last element too to make one element as an a pivot element right so these are all the three parameters what we are passing to the function called quick sort so here what all the variables we are taking for swapping and for moving from one element to the other elements we are using i j pivot and temp pivot we have defined the pivot value here so we are defined the pivot value pivot is equal to first initially if this is my array so what all I am having? I am having array of 50. This is my first and this is my last. And I have considered the first as the pivot element. Right. So pivot is equal to first. I is initialized with the value first and J is given with the value of the last index of the array. So what we are doing, we are checking whether i is less than or equal to 0. The index value i that is 0 is less than or equal to 6 or not. Definitely if you are having the elements in the array less than j. Right. So this condition true. While this condition is true, we are checking with the condition for the pivot element. Yeah, whether the pivot element is a first element. Yeah of i. What is my i value? That is 0 value is equal to the pivot element what we are taking yes it is equal and i is less than the last element i what is zero is less than my six condition both the condition true then i'm gonna increment the value of the i from zeroth position i value will become to the one position next what we are doing we are checking whether a of j is greater than pivot element or not whether i'm checking in this particular this is my pivot element so i am checking this element is greater than this last element or not Yes, A of J is greater than the last element. What we have to do? We have to put that into the right part of the array. That's what we are doing, decrementing the value of J. Then if I is less than J, if the elements are there in the array, what we have to do? We have to swap the element, put the element into the separate list. So we are dividing this and putting it to the swapping the element comparing with the pivot element with all the elements of the array. This is the techniques of swapping. Again, once we have done with the swapping, we have to compare that with the pivot element also. Pivot element has to be swapped with the first position to the middle position that is done with this technique. Then again, we are using the recursion. What we are using here? Recursion recursion to apply it on the left part of the array. What is my left part of the array? Array is there. I have a first element as it is a first element j minus 1. What should be my last element? The pivot element minus last element that would be the last element for the left half of the array and this is for the right half of the array. Here what I am doing? I am doing from j plus 1 this is a j and this is j plus 1 j minus 1 here we have a pivot element j minus 1 till we are doing for the left half left half from j plus 1 till the last what we are doing for the right half okay so we are applying the quick sort recursively for the left half and as well as the right half now coming to the main function obviously main should have a i n and array value what is the n value number of elements in the array what is a of 50 what are the elements are there in the array and i is a value to increment the index number always so what we are doing we are printing the statement say entire the number of elements how many elements you want to put it in the array that is nothing but the n value say if you want to put the 10 elements in the array you the, give the value as 10 then enter the elements of array if it is a 10 element uh, 20 40 50 10 5 then 30 90 0 1 Four, five, six. Like that, you are supposed to enter 10 elements here. 
okay 10 elements after entering uh, 10 elements we have to enter with the help of the scanf statement how we are going to enter this we have to read it from the keyboard for uh, to read anything from this keyboard we are using the scanf statement after doing this we are calling the quick sort function this is what function call what we have defined in the quick sort function that function will be called at this point in time when we are executing the main program once it is called it will go go with the recursive function call recursive as we have seen here it is it is going with the recursive function call then after sorting it will be printed element to print the element again we have to use the for loop because we have a n number of elements all the element has to be printed in the for loop so this will give you the resultant or the sorted array what we are doing it for quick sort so then we are ending with the main program this is what the quick sort program algorithm and the advantage of the quick sort and working procedure of the quick sort understood that's all for the session thank you